Hi, this is the Indy Twin side-by-side -side double stroller with maximum versatility. A lifeline for active parents with multiple children so you can get out and do what you love. The Indy Twin features independently operable seats allowing for multiple configurations from birth to toddlerhood and up to a combined weight of 90 pounds. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up in infant mode. First, lower the seat back all the way down. Ensure that your footrest is raised and it's often easier if you remove the bumper bar. To do that, I reach down inside till I can feel the release tab and remove it. Now I can unsnap these sidewalls from underneath the footrest. You're going to attach these two snaps to the corresponding snaps on the seat fabric. And then repeat that on the other side. Now you can reinsert your bumper bar and you have a nice safe space for your infant. Because of its independently operable seats, you can accommodate a lot of growing toddlers with a long back, a deep footwell, and a tall canopy. The canopy is rated to UPF 45 plus, features a large generous extension, magnetically secured peekaboo window, and a removable canopy extension for increased airflow. This way you can ensure your kids will travel in comfort. To accommodate family members of different heights, we have an adjustable handlebar. Features a nice TPR grip. We've also built in a lot of storage from small pocket on the canopy extension to larger stuff pockets on the seat back. Have a large uh, cargo basket with a zippered pocket for your pump. To raise and lower the seat back, simply squeeze the adjuster, pull it down, and then squeeze it again to push it back up. Some of the safety features of the Indy Twin include a jogging strap, a flip-flop friendly brake, and a five-point safety harness. Let's talk about some of the performance features. The Indy Twin is a side-by-side -side double. What that means is a more compact footprint and better maneuverability. In addition, we have 12-inch airfield tires with full suspension front and rear. This means an easier push and better comfort for your passengers. The Indy Twin is designed to handle different kinds of terrain with a 360 degree swivel option and independent locking forks for trails or light jogging. Another thing that separates bumper rides from other strollers is our use of sustainable materials. Beginning with the aluminum frame that features about 30% recycled material to the fabrics that are 100% recycled water bottles uh, in the black colorways, we feature an innovative dye, solution dye process that saves about 80% of the water normally used. And new for 2020, about 25% of the plastics used are made from recycled sea nets. Now let's fold it. The first thing we need to do is make sure your canopies are all the way back, your bumper bars and footrests are all the way down and raise your seat back. Disconnect the brake and then do a little out and back so that your wheels are pointing forward. At this point, you can activate the triggers and push down until you hear the auto lock engage. To 
to unfold it, we just reverse the steps. First, lever the order lock away from the stud, lift into position, and you are ready to go. To install a car seat or a bassinet, you'll need to lower the bumper bars and remove the canopies. Some people like to remove the whole fabric, which you can do, it gives a cleaner look, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with the seat fabric on. First, I lower my bumper bars. Lower the seat. Unsnap the canopy extension from the seat fabric. Unsnap the main canopy body from the support bar. And remove your canopy. And if you're installing two car seats or bassinets, repeat those steps on this side. Let's start with bassinets. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is install the hot shoes that came with the bassinet onto the hinge body. The easiest way to do that is with a coin. Slip it under there, slide out the cover. Do the same on the other side. At this point, you can add your hot shoes. They'll slide into the same slot that the cover came out of. The next step, which is critical, is to properly secure your hot shoes to the stroller. Otherwise, when you pull up on your stroller, you'll pull out the hot shoes with it. Before you're ready to install your bassinet, first step is to remove your bumper bar. Now you're ready to install the bassinet. Simply place this part over the hot shoes, give it a firm push, and always pull up to make sure it's fully engaged. Now you're ready to go. If you want to install two bassinets, just repeat those steps on the other side. To remove the bassinet, grasp the fabric handles, press down on the gray buttons, and out it comes. Now let's talk about installing car seats. The first thing you need to do is lower your bumper bars. When we talk about left or right on a bumper ride stroller, we always mean as if you're facing it. This is the left-hand side, this is the right-hand side. A single car seat will always install on the left-hand side. So first, we need to install the hot shoes. Using a coin, I can remove the cover on the inside slot and the outside slot. Now we can install the hot shoes, sliding them into the slot that we just took the covers out of. So one on the outside, one on the inside, and whatever you do, don't miss this crucial step to screw the hot shoe into the hinge body. So now take your adapters and follow this handy little guide. This one here is the inside left, so that attaches to the inside left hot shoe, ensure that it's fully engaged. This one says outside left. So that one clearly goes on the outside left hot shoe. It's now ready to take a car seat. The car seat adapters accept Klec, Maxi Cosi, Cybex and Nuna car seats and they all install the same way. You bring the car seat over the adapters and push them down. Always give it a sharp upwards tug to make sure they're fully engaged. How you remove the car seat will partly depend on the model. 
In this case, with a clack, the release is on the back. I pull it and lift up the seat. If you're intending to install a second car seat, you want to set up the right side of the stroller, just like on the left, remove the canopy, install an outside and an inside hot shoe, and put the bumper bar down. At that point, you can take your uh, adapters, refer to the little pictogram. So this is the outside right, and this is the inside right. This is now ready to accept the car seats. When installing two car seats, always start with the left hand lower car seat first. Pull upwards to make sure it's properly engaged and lower the carrying handle. Then repeat with the right hand side. Make sure it's well engaged and lower the handle. Now you're ready to go. When it's time to take your car seats off, always start with the right hand one. before removing the left hand one. When it comes time to fold your stroller, you need to take your adapters off. And that's done very simply by pressing on the gray button and lifting them off. And that's how you set up your Bumble Ride Indy Twin for bassinets and car seats.